In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a hip shift. Now, a hip shift is a really great exercise to help lengthen and open up the back of your pelvis, especially if you have a lot of tension in your glutes and your pelvic floor. So we are going to have you on your hands and knees. You are going to prop the yoga block underneath one of your knees. You're going to have your knees about shoulder width apart, and you're going to prop yourself on your toes. Now, you want to make sure that you are not too far back, but that your um, knees are kind of directly underneath the hips elbows underneath the shoulders. Now in this position, we're going to have you arch your back. So really think about lifting the tailbone. Now maintaining that arched back, you are going to shift your hip to the side of the yoga block. So you're really shifting over. Now what you want to make sure of is you don't want to lift the opposite leg. So if I do that from this angle, you want to make sure that as you hip shift that you're not lifting up this leg. So really keep your knees on the ground. Uh, your toes anchored, and you're gonna shift over towards that hip. Now, if you're feeling a lot of hip tightness in the front of your hip, or a lot of pinching there, you're not doing it correctly. So that's why you wanna make sure you're starting with your elbows or your knees directly underneath your hip. You don't wanna to start too far back, otherwise then you'll feel more of that pinching. So really start more forward, you're gonna shift over, and then from there, you're gonna slightly hinge your hips back a little bit. So it's gonna be an arch, tailbone lift, lateral shift, maintaining that arch in your back, and then slowly hinge your hips towards that diagonal, that back diagonal, without losing the arch. So again, really make sure you're maintaining that arch as you hold that stretch. And you're gonna hold it for about 30 seconds. So if we do the other side, you're gonna have the yoga block on your other side. You're gonna have starting position like this. We'll have you arch your back, shift laterally, maintaining that arch, and then you're gonna hinge back, feeling a nice stretch in that back lower glute on your right side. And again, hold that for about 30 seconds. You can even do more like 10 to 15 seconds if you, do, if you want to do it in a more kind of dynamic fashion. So give that a try and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. 